Okay, so I'm just going to talk through how to bring open quotes, work in progress, opening balances across into Workflow Max. So if you have a job that you need to set up, you can just go to jobs. Obviously, this is our demo build. Um, create a new job and then put the job details in as required. Now, if you've got lots and lots and lots of jobs, we can do this for you. Or obviously, if there's uh, not too many, we would recommend people to set them up because it's good learning, it's good process. So let's do an uh, example. Um, job for, um, balance, for example. So obviously, you would here put the job name in, you have a job description, um, and have your details, start dates, due dates, and so on. So I'll just pop these through for the moment and um, put a bit more of a realistic date on this. So that's just given me the basic job information. Obviously, now if you want to, you can put tasks in here, you can put notes, costs, all kinds of things that you need to do. So first of all, I'm going to go financial. And then what I would do is go new quote. And you can do one of a couple of things here. You could bring in the quote with a lot of detail. So you could go and add tasks and bring in all the tasks you're going to use, the amount of time, everything that you've allowed for in the quote. Now, that might not be feasible um, purely based on the fact that your previous quoting might be different to how Workflow Max is going to handle it. So um, failing that, if you can't do that, I would just put a new cost in. Um, and I would just put either original quoted amount or possibly remaining quoted amount if you've partially invoiced it. Um, so unit cost is therefore, um, so I would have the cost as, let's say we said it was going to be $100,000 and we were going to sell it for 100. So this is going to be a $150,000 job plus GST, obviously. So I'll now issue and accept that. So it's just a single line quote. But we're just going to issue and accept it so that when I go back to the financials of the job, there's an estimated billing of 150000 here now. Now, if I go to costs, what I would do to bring in your opening balance, so you'll notice here that the cost is an estimated cost. You can tell that because it's not ticked. If you were to tick the cost on, then it will make it an actual cost. Um, you probably don't want to do that just because you won't have accrued all of this cost so far. So I would now bring in a cost line, so say opening balance, um, and let's say for example it's uh, $25,000. So that's how much we've spent so far, which with our markup says, well that should be billed out at 32,000 so far. So um, uh, 25,000 is opening balance, save that. And now we've got an actual cost there in the system. So now if we go to um, financial, you'll see, so this cost sits here, but it doesn't want to bid out because we've got the quote locked in there. And if I just do, for example, a financial summary, then you'll start to see how some of this looks. So we had an estimated cost of $100,000. We've quoted at 150, or we had a remaining to invoice of 150. Our actual cost to date is 25,000. Um, and therefore we've got our profit reduced down here. And we've got our estimated profit based on what we've done so far. So if you ran reports on this whole job, so this is job 37. If we went to uh, reports, all reports, and then let's do a job report for the moment. And you'll see this bottom job here. We've got our cost amount to date, our quoted amount, and what's been invoiced out. So hopefully that all makes sense. If there's any queries on it, feel free to get in touch with us prior to going live.